good afternoon everyone uh, i hope you had a lavish lunch um last class we discussed about uh, dna structure and the chemical composition of uh, dna and the function of uh, dna and different types of dna so there are six forms of dna and their helical structures and all those things how the dna structure was discovered and all those things we discussed so today we will discuss about uh, dna replication so how a cell replicates its dna or chromosome uh, during cell division so if you just recall your uh, mitosis and cell cycle class i told that there are four phases of uh, stages of uh, cell cycle can be divided into g1 phase s phase g2 phase and m phase so s phase that the second phase is the phase where the dna replication happens this is where the chromatids gets doubled or dna gets duplicated or doubled and divided in the m phase <clears throat> so because of this dna replication the each daughter cell receives an equal amount of dna or equal quantity of dna as that was there in the mother cell so with this i wanted to highlight two very important points of uh, dna replication one is accuracy of uh, dna replication and the second one is a uh, speed of dna replication so these two are very amazing facts of dna replication and the cell so you know that uh, if you take human cell it has uh, 3.2 into 2 uh, that means uh, 6.4 uh, billion bases million uh, billion bases of dna so because of this the entire amount of dna should be copied uh, by a shell machineries so you know that uh, during the fusion of uh, you know egg and the sperm this diploid cell is generated so this diploid cell is known as zygote so you know that 23 chromosomes are received from the father through sperm and another 23 chromosomes are received from the egg from the mother so these 23 plus 23 will become 46 chromosome this is the diploid set of chromosomes the haploid set of uh, dna content of the human uh, human being is 3.2 billion bases so since it zygote is a diploid cell so it will be doubled because two sets of each chromosome is there so that means 6.4 billion bases are there in each cell so this 6.4 billion bases should be copied during s phase so once this zygote is formed because of continuous uh, cell division through mitosis uh, so this develop into an adult organism so it is uh, nine months in case of human beings and each and every organism will have a different uh, gestation uh, period and the second one is if there are anything like sorry uh, like if there is any error happens during copying or replication of dna happens it will be catastrophic event just imagine if there is a one base is added wrongly for every milli billion million bases so that means so 1 into 6400 million bases that means the human cell has 6400 a million bases if there is a one error so there will be 6400 mistakes for every time a cell divides or a cell division happens that means if the cell divides one cell divides into two cells so there will be 6400 bases will be added wrongly in case of human being this is an example if there is a one mismatch or if there is a one error for every million bases so but cell divides million times you know that from the single zygote to an adult human being the cell must have cell must be divided million times to produce an adult so because of the several rounds of um, dna replication or cell division these 6400 initial mistakes are the uh, mistakes are made by dna polymerase will be compounded means it will be added every time the cell divides so uh, because of that, 
the accuracy of the cell division or cell dna replication is very 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 important and the second one is time or the replication speed so this is also very amazing fact so an example in case of e coli the escherichia coli a single circular chromosome which contains around 4.6 million base pairs so if 1000 nucleotides per minute is added suppose if the dna polymerase replicates 1000 so this uh, <clears throat> 1000 nucleotides uh, per minute so then it will be a 4600 minutes that means to replicate 4.6 million base pairs this bacteria takes around 4600 minutes but if you take in a day a day has 24 hours and each hour has 64 60 minutes and there will be 1440 minutes per day so then divide this uh, time taken to replicate this 4.6 million bases divided by number of minutes in a day so it will be 3.19 days that means to replicate just 4.6 million base pairs in e coli genome so it takes nearly 3 days at the, if 1000 nucleotides per minute is added but we know that the bacteria divides or uh, replicates its dna in 20 minutes that means this bacteria would able to add 1000 nucleotides per second so this is the speed of um, dna replication so one is accuracy and the second one is the speed so in case of uh, <clears throat> so in case of e coli this single circular chromosome is divided into two later this single cell is divides into two cells so this is what is the uh, cell division after dna being synthesized so this takes a minimum 20 minutes to replicate its dna so how is this extraordinarily accurate and rapid rapid process accomplished so i told so what happens if there is a one base mismatch at every million bases and in case of bacteria so what happens if 1000 bases per minute is added or if 1000 bases per second is added so how this accurate and rapid process is accomplished because the dna replication takes place in a semi conservative manner so this is the reason why the dna replication is is very accurate and it is a very rapid process so in case of all the living organism the dna replication acts pla takes place in a semi conservative manner so there are uh, different models so in the initially they were thought that there are three models to say that how the dna replication happens the first model was semi conservative replication so this is the parental dna Uh, just imagine this pink color uh, strand that is the parental dna so after first round of replication this each strand serve as a template strand for the synthesis of new strand so this blue color one is the newly synthesized strand and the pink one is the old strand this is the old strand serve as a template to synthesize this new uh, blue color strand similarly one more strand acts as a template for the synthesis of another strand so this is the second round of replication so these two a uh, pink and blue will serve as a template strand for the second round of uh, replication so that means in case of semi conservative replication each strand serves as a template from which the new complementary strand is copied so this is the most widely accepted model of dna replication so i will come to that point later so who discovered and how it was proved and all those things so before uh, getting into the details of semi conservative replication so we will go to the second uh, models of uh, dna replication that is conservative replication so in case of conservative replication the original double stranded dna molecule serve as the complete template for a new dna molecule so from this the dna molecule is uh, from this dna molecule is uh, being copied or Uh, replicated so this is newly synthesized dna strand and this is the old strand so this is what the model uh, says 
under conservative replication model. So this is the scenario. So each round of cell division produces one daughter cell with newly uh, copied or replicated DNA and another uh, daughter cell will have a old DNA. And the third model of DNA replication is dispersive replication. So in this case, the original DNS a double helical structure will break apart into fragments. So like this, it will break apart into uh, fragments and each fragment then serves as the template for new DNA fragment. See, the dispersive replication means both the 5 prime, 3 prime, 3 prime, 5 prime strands will break and these strands will serve as a, a template for synthesis of new DNA molecule. So because of this, at each round of cell division, two cells with varying amounts of old and new DNA will be formed. So this is what? So these are the two daughter cells. One cell will have a mixture of this newly and old uh, DNA strand and another DNA cell will have both newly synthesized DNA and old uh, DNA strand. But as I already told, uh, this semi-conservative replication is the universal uh, model accepted by scientific community. And this is the description of the model. So whatever I have uh, explained, the same thing is there. So as I told, the semi-conservative model is intuitively a feeling model because separation of two strands provides two samplers, each of which carries all the information, the original molecule. So this is the most widely used um, DNA model. So these are the two people, uh, Mieselson and uh, Stahl, uh, Matthew Mieselson and Franklin Stahl. Uh, these two people provided accurate uh, uh, methodology to say that DNA undergoes semi-conservative uh, way of a DNA replication. And what they used is, they used uh, isotope of nitrogen, that is N14 is the naturally occurring uh, uh, molecule, which is uh, common and lighter. And the rare and the heavier isotope is N15. Uh, it is called as heavy nitrogen. And these N14 and N15 molecules were used to label these uh, DNA molecules to prove that DNA undergoes semi-conservative uh, method of replication. So this is the procedure they employed. And they took E. coli cell uh, and grown in a N15 uh, containing medium. And subsequent generations were grown on a medium which is containing N14. <clears throat> and uh, cells were withdrawn from this uh, medium, N15 and N14 medium. I will show you in detail in the next uh, slide. And the DNA was uh, isolated. How this DNA was isolated means to these growing cultures, the CCM chloride was added to rupture the cell and to release the DNA from the cell to the uh, uh, content. That is called a lysate. So this is how the Mises and Stahl uh, did an experiment to show that semi-conservative replication of uh, DNA. So this is the E. coli culture, which are grown in N15 containing uh, medium. And uh, afterwards, these cultures were transferred to a medium, which is containing N14 medium that is represented in uh, blue color. So when the colony is harvested from this N15 containing medium, and the DNA is isolated, and this, isona, this DNA was centrifuged, and it formed a one thick band, okay? So one thick band, so which is, that means if you look at the strand level information, so all the uh, nucleotides, like adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine will have a N15 in their benzene ring structure. The subsequent generation, like after replication one, the DNA is again isolated in which, in which the, the original DNA strand, which had N15 and N15 in their uh, uh, nucleotides, has served as a template for the DNA replication. So because of this, one strand will be old, another strand will be new. The newly synthesized strand will be having N14 isotope and old strand will have a N15. So when you isolate the DNA from this 
bacterial cultures so it will have like intermediates because this dna has both n15 and n14 so when they undergone like when they continued the replication to our second round of replication and isolated the dna so then they got a two bands so two bands means the one band this band has a mixture of n14 and n15 and another band has purely n14 and n14 experiment to prove that dna undergoes semi conservative way of a dna replication so just to track this the pink strand is a old dna strand and blue one is a new strand 